Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for the beginning of this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. As you can see, I am all natural right now. No makeup, no hair done, nothing. Um, for this video, um, I'm going to be doing a transformation. Ooh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no. Um, everybody, I'm sure, has been getting off and on or whatever their stimulus checks. So, of course, thanks to my wonderful mother, um, I was able to start ordering some stuff and I got some stuff from Hot Topic and I got me some new hair dye. Uh, so this is called Girls Night. It's a purplish color. So I'm going to finally be dyeing my hair again because I haven't dyed my hair in such a long time. Um, and then also I do have some black, uh, trans it's called Transylvania Black, I believe. Um, also from Arctic Fox that I might do in my hair as well, or, or I might just go with the purple. Um, and then also, I went back to Five Below, and I found this awesome neon bright eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be trying out some new makeup looks and stuff too. So I just wanted to shoot this little part of the beginning so that way you guys can see, because I think I've only done one other video, and that was quite a while ago where I didn't have any makeup on, my hair wasn't, you know, was a mess and everything. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick before and then I'm going to show you guys the after. And then also I want to show off the clothes that I've gotten both from Hot Topic and also from Torrid. I got some stuff from there. Um, it's all going to be, you know, my style, which you know is Nightmare and Beetlejuice type stuff and Tim Burton and stuff like that so um but yeah so okay well I will be back with you guys shortly all right bye hey guys I'm back all right I'm on I don't know what the steps are but I've already washed my hair let it dry and now I have the dye actually in my hair right now um I know I look totally goofy I don't care right now, so, um, I don't know, I have no professional, whatever, I don't follow any of the things that I do, this is just how I do it myself on past experiences and everything, so, um, but yeah, I'm gonna let it sit in for about 30 to maybe 45 minutes, um, it says on the back to only let it sit in for about 30 minutes, but I usually always let it sit in for a little bit longer than that to kind of help darken it more, um, but that's just me, again, personally, um, so, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how goofy I look, of course, because, you know, why not, um, so, but yeah, um, then I'm gonna rinse this out, get my hair dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then after that I'll go ahead and start actually getting the video going with uh, showing off stuff so okay guys see you soon hey guys Katie again um, so time for an update um, the hair dye that I showed off did not work I am so beyond so pissed off right now. Um, I did have some old high dye, uh, high dye, what the hell, hair dye though, um, that I'm trying right now. It's that Transylvania black that I talked about. And then the purple is, um, ultraviolet and it's actually from the brand Manic Panic. Um, these are both very old high dye. God, why do I keep saying high dye? hair dyes so I'm not sure how well they're going to actually stick to my hair but I was just so pissed off I could not believe I wasted all that fucking time dyeing my hair and nothing happened I mean that makes no sense to me that's the first time that this has ever happened um other than when I tried the silver dye uh, but that was just because it was silver, I think, and my hair is already too light, and just, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, so, and I just, I spent all that time dyeing my hair, wanting a different color, and I didn't get it, so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I have these, I'm gonna do this, this'll be, should be good enough for right now, I should get some kind of color in my hair, so, yeah, I just wanted to 
keep you guys updated because now it's going to be something completely different than what it was originally going to be. So, okay. All right. Um, I just put this in, so I'm going to let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes again. Rinse it out, wait for it to dry, and then there you go. So, I'll be back. All right. Bye, guys. All right, guys. So, this is the finished look. You can actually see color now. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but... I like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know it's kind of a big change going from blonde to this, but really didn't dye that much of my hair. Actually, just a little bit of strands. I know it looks like I dyed a lot more. Got misery right here. But anyways, this is what I got. So far, I was wanting to add some green in. I was thinking actually doing my bangs green, but I decided to do them black instead. But yeah, I like how it turned out. So let me know what you guys think. But alright, so there's the hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. And then I think I'm going to wait and save the clothes and everything for another video because I think I just want to go ahead and dig into the package that I got today. So um, when I come back, that's what we'll get going on. Okay, be back. Okay, guys, now for the full transformation. Voila! Got makeup hair. I hope the camera is picking my hair up that you can see purple and the black. I don't know because Joe just told me, I just sent him the pictures that I took because I did post some pictures to Instagram already last night um, and he said that the pictures make my hair kind of look brown. So I don't know, can you guys, does it look brown on camera or Maybe even in person. I don't know. Nobody's seen it in person other than my mom so far. But she said it looked good. So, I don't know. Does it look black and purple or does it look brown? I hope it looks black and purple and not brown. But, anyways. Full transformation now. Makeup and hair all done. And this is one of my new tops that I got from Hot Topic. Um, I will show it off in another video fully. Um, but yeah, I got this one because it gives me, of course, Beetlejuice vibes. If no one kind of already figured that out for, you know, being me. Plus, it does kind of go with my makeup and everything, too. So, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the package that I got yesterday from the wonderful and sweet Miranda. Look at this huge, big old box right here. I am so excited. She sent this to me, not asking for anything in return. So, Miranda, you are so sweet and so awesome. Thank you so, so much. This is just wonderful. Thank you. I got Gizmo on my lap right here. Okay. I kind of try to. You know what? I'm gonna put this down here because. what we got oh my goodness she packaged this so awesome <laughs> there is a lot in here guys oh my goodness Good 
Okay. Oh my goodness. So much. This is so awesome. Thank you so much, Miranda. This is just, this is awesome. Okay. We got Curse of the Mayans. You gonna help me announce Cujo? Huh? Let me show him up. I have been wanting to see this movie for a very long time. It wasn't the end. It was the beginning. Cujo! Honey. Cujo. Goofy butt! Okay, and then we got Client 9. The Rise and Fall of Elliot Spitzler. You don't know the real story. This is a Magnolia release. Hi, honey. I wonder if this is based on a true story. Kind of sounding that way. But yeah, got that one. And then got the Palmer Supremacy. And this one I wanted because of Lance Hendrickson. Because she sent me a bunch of photos asking if I wanted any of these titles because I guess she was getting rid of some stuff. So. And this one. This was a Dollar Tree title that I did not find. But it just, it's so me. And I've never seen it though. But Bunny Acula. I'm pretty sure is how you would pronounce this. But I mean a bunny vampire. How awesome is that? And this has 20 episodes on it. And when I was looking this up on um, like eBay and I don't know if I looked it up on Amazon, but I think at least on eBay, it was like, I can't remember exactly, but it was like, I think around $20, maybe even more for this. So yeah, thank you so much for finding this one for me. This is awesome. Very happy to have that one. And then we got The Nanny. And we have True Blood. And this one I've actually seen before. Um, it was actually when I was in California for my niece's wedding. And I remember it being a pretty good movie. Um, Satanic. I don't really remember exactly what it's about. But I just remember that I liked it. And this is a magnet release. Magnet movies are usually pretty good. I... I believe. So very happy for that one. Oh, I forgot about this one. Uh, Legend of the Dragon. Oh, and this one must be a series. It says includes four episodes. Um, this is from Genius Entertainment. So I've never seen any of these either, but animated, of course. Just like that. And then this one I wanted to see because of Patrick Stewart. 
Moby Dick. Plus, I do like the Moby Dick story. I liked, um, was it Heart by the Sea? The one with, um, why is it I can never think when I am on camera about stuff? Um, oh my god, seriously, I cannot think. The one who plays Thor, he's in it. I can't think of his name right now. Hemsworth. Is it? It's not Liam. It's a. Uh, is it Chris? Chris Hemsworth. Anyway, Heart Something C is in the title. Um, that movie. I really liked that movie. So um, there's another Moby Dick one too that has I think Ethan Hawke. Is it Ethan Hawke? I think in it uh, that I want to get also. I don't know. Is this? Yeah, no, this one doesn't say it has Ethan Hawke in it, so it is a different one. Yeah, and this one's three hours and five minutes. So, this is, yeah, Epic Miniseries, okay. Yeah, there's another one, like I said, I think it's with Ethan Hawke that I want to see, that I want to get as well. That's, uh, I believe it's also just called Moby Dick. But very happy for this one. And then, another one... For the classic monster movies, I got Dracula, as you saw from Bryce. Now I got Frankenstein. I'm so excited to see this one. And it comes with that beautiful slip cover from, I think it's Walmart, right? And there's the artwork. And this is Boris Karloff as well. He was in, right? No, that was the ghost verse, or <sighs> why can I never think when I am on camera? If I had it right, I don't have it right next to me. Boris Karloff, Bella Lugosi. I don't remember now. But anyways, yeah, so got this one. So very, very happy to have this one now, because now I can watch this one, which I'm truly, truly excited about, because I don't think I've seen a parody one that will ruin this one for me, um, even though I know there are, you know, lots of Frank other Frankenstein ones, but, you know, I don't think there will be one that's, like, dead and loving it that will, like, how it was for Dracula, that'll um, necessarily ruin this one for me. Um, and then we have The Neighbor, which I haven't seen a preview for this one, but I like him, uh, which one is his name? Okay, I don't actually know his name. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's either the William Finchner or Michael Rosenbaum, but I like him as an actor. I recognize his face at least. Um, so very happy for this one. And then, super excited, excited, I'm super excited about all of these, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, Green Lantern, the animated series. I have the first part, the, I think it's called um, Something Yellow Lantern one, but it's the first part of this series. Now I have the second part, and I actually, I really love the animated series. If you guys have not seen it, and you do like, like, DC or, like, these kind of animated series, I highly suggest this series. Um, it did not last very long. I believe it is only one season, and 13 episodes on each part, so, like, just 26 episodes total. But I thought it was really good, at least the first part that I saw, or I think it was actually, I don't know if that was the first part, or if this is the, anyways... The one that I already have, the one that has the Yellow Lantern parts, um, I really enjoyed. So I'm very much looking forward and can't wait to dig into this. So. And then we got The Bates Haunting. Which I cannot wait now to get, because um, I have 
all of the Psycho movies, including the remake with Vince Vaughn now, because I got that one from Bryce. Now I just really need to get uh, the Bates Motel series. I can't wait to get those. And I did see that they had the first season over at Big Lots. But yeah, they have been jacking up their prices for some reason because it was $8. And usually their stuff is $5. So, hi Lycan. You want to be in the picture? Can I have the camera though, honey? You're blocking. You're blocking, baby. Come here. Lycan. Honey, come on. Thank you very much. So, but very happy to have this one. I do not think I have seen this one either. And I haven't seen any... Oh, no, I still haven't even watched the original yet, actually. I watched the, the one with Vince Vaughn, the one that Bryce sent me, but I have not watched the original yet or any of the sequels to Psycho yet. Um, so, gotta watch those ones. And then um, I got The Hollow Child. Something is different about Olivia. This one, just the cover looks awesome and interesting. So, can't wait to check. I can't wait to check all of these ones out. And then, um, Lycan, baby. Come here, Goofy. Oh. Got stuff falling. Uh, when the game stands tall, which this one is inspired by a true story. Ah, that's my finger. Yes, it is. And this one, um, Jim Kavitzo, maybe that's how you say his name. Let's go with that. Um, but yeah. And it has, is that the guy, is that the guy from, I almost said Home Alone, from Home Improvement, the older brother guy? I don't know if that's him or not. I don't know what his real name is, but kind of looks like him. I'm not sure though, but I got this one. And then, Disney title, got the rescuers. Oh, hi Misery. Everybody's coming in to say hi on this video, huh? Hi, honey. And everybody wants to stand in the way. Come here. Can you come this way? <laughs> Got the rescuers. I have not seen this movie in so long. Hi, Echo Vlad. You're coming in too? No, none of that on camera. Nobody wants to see that. Two tiny heroes, one big adventure. I know this is one I used to love when I was younger, but I do not remember anything actually about this one, so I'm very, very happy to have this one back so I can rewatch it. Um, Is it 90? I uh, don't know. I don't know when this one came out. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this one back. And then got the Spike Lee uh, Red Hook Summer. No, no, those are not for you to bite. Thank you very much. I have no idea what this movie is about, but because it's Spike Lee, I wanted to go ahead and see what it was all about. And then I'd never heard of this mu uh, this movie movie until um, what was it last Dollar Tree round? Um, but this has Nick Frost in it um, and Chris O'Dowd, but Cuban Fury. 
And I love Nick Frost, of course, Shaun of the Dead, and Hot Fuzz, and all the ones with him and Simon Pegg, Paul, and then Chris O'Dowell from uh, Bridesmaids, and, um... I know there's another movie, at least one other movie that I have seen him in. I know he's been in more than just two, but I mean that I have actually seen him in. But I cannot think of what it is right now. Um, and then I know I've seen... Um, Rashida Jones? Is that how you would say her name? I know I've seen her in a bunch of stuff too, but I've never actually known her name. I've just known her face, but yeah, she's really funny too. I like her. So this just looks like a lot of fun. And then we got a monster mix 12 film alien threat movie pack. Night of the Blood Beast, uh, The Alien Factor, The Amazing Transparent Man, uh, Flash Corden, uh, Test Flight, no, that is not for you, uh, Man with a Watch, excuse you, Rocky Jones, uh, Sneak Attack, Curtain Call, Let It Rain, and Dark Stranger. Those are all the ones on this one. No, excuse you. Excuse you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Sorry, Cujo's in a very playful mood right now. And then we got uh, Lego Legends of... Is it Chima? Chima? Something? In this one, uh, it's 10 episodes on two discs. It's Chai, Tribes, and Betrayals. Good job. Those are not for you, Goofy. And then 2035, a new breed of apocalyptic horror. Most of these movies are good. I think there's been, again, I won't remember what it's called. Um, there was one that was an apocalyptic one that I really didn't like that much, but I actually need to revisit it because that was, it's been quite a long time since I've seen it. Um, but most of these ones I really like. Oh, you too. Oh, thank in. My goodness, today with the kitties. Just my goodness. And then got another uh, Lego Legends of, I'm going to say Chima. If I'm wrong, then yeah. Um, but 11 episodes on two discs again. This one is uh, Legend of the Fire Chi. I think I'm saying that part right, at least the Chi part. Or chai? No. No, it'd be chi. But I love all of the Lego movies and everything, so, and I've never checked out. And I love all of the, um, DC, um, Lego movies. Not just the Batman Lego, but I mean, like, the, um... Bizarro League versus the Justice League DC one, or the Flash Lego DC one, the Aquaman one. I have, I think I have all of the DC Lego ones up to date. Um, 
the family, I think there, it's Family Matters was the last one, I think. Unless there's a new one that's come out, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I like all of those ones. Those are super cute. Um, so, got that one. And then we got um, Lego Nexo Knights. Um, Book of Monsters. Uh, season 2. And I don't know, because this one doesn't say the Book of Monsters, but this one does say Season 1, so I don't know if these go together or not. But they're both Nexo Knights. But Season 1 has two discs and is 10 episodes, and... The Season 2, The Book of Monsters one has two discs and is also 10 episodes. This is the Season 2 back. And this is the Season 1 back. And then uh, Lego Ninjago, uh, Masters of Spinjitzu, uh, Day of the Departed. Uh, features the Day of the Departed special plus these six episodes. And then also have the Lego uh, Ninjago, Ninjago rebooted uh, Battle for New Ninjago City. And this one has four episodes. Okay. And now into the bully race. We got... Hard Target 2. And I don't think I've actually heard of this movie until... Oh, Wonka, are you okay? Are you stuck? Oh, no, you got it. Okay. That's Wonka. I don't know if she's ever made an appearance on camera or not, but she's my pure black poofy baby. Um, anyways, um, I don't think I've ever actually heard of this movie until I think people started getting it in the horror pack, and I know that was like a few, few uh, months ago. But yeah, so, but ever since I started seeing people getting this one, I was very intrigued by it. And I actually looked up the story that this band um, is based off of. Um, yeah. But uh, Lords of Chaos. And I didn't know that this had Rory Culkin in it, so that's kind of cool. Or not kind of cool, that is cool. I don't know why I said kind of. But anyways. Um, yeah, it's the story of the true Norwegian black metal band. Or... The story of true Norwegian black metal and its most notorious practitioners. A group of young men with a flair for publicity, church burning, and murder. Mayhem. So, but yeah. Oh, and there's Joker. Everybody's making an appearance. So, very happy to have this one because this one just looks so interesting. Is there anybody else I recognize in here? There's a Vulture Skarsgård. I wonder if they're related to the the other two Skarsgård brothers. Huh, that's cool. If he is, I mean, I mean, even if he's not, that's just, you know. Anyways, yeah. Got that one. And then got First Summoning, 
look at that cover. That is awesome. That doesn't make you want to watch this movie. Yeah. And this is a Gravitas Ventures movie. Oh, hey, Zoe joke. She's always got to be right here when she lays with me. Evil Lies Within. That cover is just awesome. That makes me just want to frame that and put that up. I love that. Oh, and then we got Mind Gamers, which I have seen a preview for this one, and this one does look like a pretty good movie. It looks like a pretty trippy, like, one where you may have to watch it a couple of times, though, or at least maybe I might have to, because, you know, I may have dyed my hair, but I am still blonde. <laughs> so, but yeah. So, very looking forward to this one. Is that so new? Yes, it is. Sam Neill's in this one. Awesome. I love him so much. Oh, and then we got Behaving Badly with Selena Gomez, Heather Graham, Mary Louise Parker, Elizabeth Shue, and Nate Wolf. I don't think I know who Nate Wolf is. I think that's probably the only name I don't know. And then got Intruders from BBC, a two-disc set, what goes around comes around. An eerie paranormal thriller. And this one right here, I saw so many people haul this from um, Dollar Tree. I never found it though, but I so wanted it because this is so cheesy and wonderful that I just wanted it. So I'm very glad to have it now. The Jurassic Dead Zombiesaurus. I mean, come on now. Who doesn't want to see this movie? I mean, this is just the greatest of cheese. Oh, this is a wild eye release, maybe. <laughs> maybe that might make a lot of people not want to see it. I don't know. We'll see what it's actually like, you know. I mean, the cover just looks amazing. But with it being wild eye, maybe not so much. I don't know now. But I just, I love these movies. I love these cheesy creature movies. So, I am very happy to have this one finally, because I have been wanting to see it ever since I saw people hauling it and have heard of it. It just looks ridiculously fucking awesome. So, Evil Always Finds a Way. Very happy to have this one. That's awesome. And then, the last one is Don't Knock Twice. This one, I've been wanting to see, too. It just looks and sounds interesting. I actually have a, a movie that's called, um, it's from a different, or it's a different movie, but I think it has the same title, Don't Knock Twice, or Knock Knock 2, but it's not from the Knock Knock that has um, Keanu Reeves in it. It's not a sequel to that one, either. It's a different it's knock, knock something or something. Um, but it is a horror movie, too. I have not watched it yet. But, um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I've heard of this movie. And, um, especially being, I want to try to get a lot of the IFC Midnight ones, especially. Um, because they, I think they're usually pretty good. At least I've had luck with like them. So. Oh. Misery. You're blocking the camera, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Thank you. 
so. But that is what Miranda sent me. Thank you so, so much, Miranda. You are so sweet and wonderful. This is just incredibly amazing and just so generous. Thank you so much. And I am going to leave all of her information down in the description box to her YouTube channel and to her Instagram account. So please make sure you give her a follow on both. And let her know that I sent you, and thank you so, so much. Again, I really, truly, greatly appreciate this. This is so wonderful. So, okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. And I am going to be back very soon because I still have a lot more movies to show off. And I have my stuff from Hot Topic and um, Tori to show off. And then also, I am going to be getting the stuff together for the 150 subscriber giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Um, so that'll be coming up very soon too. So yeah, just stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please like, share, and subscribe. Let's see if we can get those, um, get me up in numbers some more. Um, and yeah. Okay. Well, guys, stay safe out there and happy hunting. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.